Hey everybody, this is Rob with Great Eck Outdoor. I am here with Eric. He's one of our team members who specializes on our fishing stuff. And so we're here this morning, we're gonna walk through his, his setup on his all day hybrid. And how many tournaments did you do this summer? I think I did a eight or nine, I think. Awesome. Or one of the questions people ask all the time is, you know, why would, why would you pick a stand-up paddleboard rather than a kayak for this type of this type this type of setup? Um, well, a few main reasons. Uh, one is that I, I like standing up when I fish, and I get to do that the whole time here. Um, sitting is basically just for retying knots and <laughs> not falling in. Um, but the main reason I started doing on a paddle board was its versatility. You can take this anywhere. It's it's lightweight. Um, you know, people can say that about kayaks, but this is you know un without all the extra stuff on it, it's 35 pounds. You can carry that anywhere. You can get onto ponds and places that boats and kayaks can't even get to without a, a struggle. Um, this makes it pretty easy. And if you just got a pole in the board, it's a pretty simple, nice day of fishing. Um, other than that, the way I have it set up right here, it's pretty much like walking around on the water. If you do want to go somewhere, you just go there. And there's no nothing holding you back. There's, it's, you can get pretty shallow and you can still get through it. You can take small streams to get to bigger bodies of water that nobody else can really get to. It's kind of a one all kind of deal for me that's awesome in terms of draft like how shallow can you get with this board uh as it is right now loaded down i have the uh i have a shallow water fin on there and i think it's i can i can navigate in six inches of water sure um i think that's that's without scraping and i can scrape through a little bit here and there Anything uh, shallower than that, you usually can just walk. <laughs> Guess we'll start with the trolling motor since that's up front. Um, we got the uh, Motor Guide XI3 on here. Um, basically, it's the same track system that we use to mount the seat. I mounted it up front here, um, kind of built like a mounting plate for the trolling motor itself. All of it comes off pretty quickly just by unscrewing and sliding it out. Um, so far, it's held up. <laughs> uh, it's uh, it's been a game changer as far as the tournaments, and you know, more uh, less paddling, more fishing. Love it. My hands are free for that. And so this is all controlled with remote control. Is that yep. correct? I have a remote right here, and it just does what I tell it. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. Okay, so let's talk about this trolling motor a little bit. Um, so this is a motor guide. What, what model is it again? XI3. XI3, um, and we modified it, or you modified it slightly? I modified the shaft. I cut the shaft down um, basically in half um, just to fit the, you know, I don't need it sticking straight up, and when it folds up, it doesn't take up much more than space than the base that I built for it. It stows nice in the back of my Jeep. Uh, stows nice up on here. Kind of show that, I guess. Sweet. And so it's not all up in my business and all that kind of stuff when I'm in there. Um, okay, show me how this thing, how this thing works here. Look at that. Turn it on a dime. Take you where you need to go. It also helps the stability. Uh, having that in the water really uh, cuts down on the rocking back and forth. Yeah, and I think you know most of us would forget about that aspect of it. But you're right; having it's almost like another. It's almost like having a paddle in the water, some sort of forward thrust when when that thing is moving yeah. does help anchor the board significantly. Um, how fast does this thing go? I have not clocked it. Uh, I've been meaning to. I've been asked that a bunch of times. And I don't know. <laughs> um, 
could probably do that later today. We can find a few, out. few miles an hour probably. Yeah. But yeah, we'll, we'll play around with that and see if we can get a reading. Uh, I love it. Got the GoPro mount. GoPro mount here. I also have another one here. Uh, depending on what kind of angles I want to get. Cool. Ooh. Let's see. Um, yeah. So then walking back here, you've got, looks like you've got a rod holder here. And then you've got... What do you got going on here? This is the um, fish finder or sonar kind of setup that I made for this. Same thing, it sits just on the track system here. Two bolts that slide on or slide on and off. Um, it's all pretty much contained uh, by itself. I can take it on or off if I need it or not need it. Awesome. Uh, I built a little arm that adjusts down for the transducer. So you fabricated that whole box and that little system all, all on your own. Yeah, it's it's made up of other things. <laughs> I love it. But yeah, I think that this is a this is a remnant of the uh, PlayStation Three Rock Band uh, bandstand or drum stand <laughs> parts. I love it. Um, I kind of I put in a, a power harness so I can plug and unplug all these stuff, and the, the harness just kind of stays on here. Uh, we'll get to that, I guess, as we go back. Um, yeah. Paddle holder, it's there, out of the way. Cool. So I don't have to use it as much anymore. Yep. When I got the trolling motor, got the trolling motor on it. And then let's talk about this this seat and um, rod holder contraption, because you've built built something pretty extensive here. Yeah, uh, it's, it's pretty basic. This is a just a container I bought at Napa. It's a storage container or whatever. It's about... I think it's 16 inches tall. Um, and this is a stadium seat from Walmart. Um, it was about 15 bucks. I have it just clipped in. Right now it's all strapped in so it doesn't fall off when I was driving, but it just clipped in with uh, plumbing clips. Cool. Um, clips on and off, folds up and down. Um, this all just kind of pops out of here. And I need to take it off. Uh, it clips into the PVC rod holders that I have. And yes, it is excessive, but I like to have a pole for every presentation and not have to retie in the middle of fishing, especially sitting out in the waves. So um, I have a pole for everything. I uh, have my battery and stuff back here kind of for weight distribution, and it's just out of the way. Cool. So this is a Z-Pro setup? Yep. Uh, batteries are in here. I kind of built the box for myself so it's a little bit uh, more contained and sealed up. Cool. Okay. And a track system on the back and then shallow water fin so you can stay shallow if you want to. He's got, um, he's got 12 volt power on the side of this so you can recharge GoPros and things like that. Really good storage. We tackle a leash, ankle leash, all the rods, GoPro. Yeah, just a really awesome setup here. Yeah, so this is the set. This is obviously, this is well beyond what the standard standard issue all day hybrid would, would be even with the track system installed. And you can see that we've got some of our standard track system where it's screwed into the board like we would normally do it. But then he's also added some track and adhered that either with 3M VHB tape or uh, epoxy. So, you know, you've got to be one of those people who've got to be okay with modifying your, modifying your board and taking some chances, but you can see that this board can handle, obviously, a lot of weight. We've got a lot of, a lot of extra pounds on this board, um, but it's also, it's one of those things where you can modify it to meet your own needs, and this is a clear example of Eric taking advantage of a platform and then building it to his spec. 
I'm looking at my my seat system here. Feeling feeling pretty basic compared to that. Two extremes. <laughs> 